My name is Yuto Sakai, 28. I work in product development at a manufacturing company. Sir, excuse me. Sakai, your reunion is today, right? Have fun! Thank you! This is the department head. He was from headquarters. He was capable and I respected him. Today was my high school reunion. I was gonna head there after work. Sakai, you're going? I thought you wouldn't since you always work late. As I left the office, someone snuck up behind me. It was Kazuma Gekkomie. He was a co-worker and a former classmate. As you can tell, we were not close. He never liked me. It was a one-sided thing. I am. We haven't all gotten together since our coming of age ceremony. Ha! I see. Are you trying to have a little reunion romance? Ha <laughs> ha! Reunion romance? I know what you're trying to say, but I've never heard of that. Leftovers like you usually go for old girlfriends. I thought that was a weird thing to think, but I let it slide. Okay, sure. That'd be nice. And why are you sitting next to me? If you don't like me, you don't have to. The venue was a casual izakaya. Seating was not assigned. I sat at an open seat, but for some reason Kazuma came over. Was he toying with me? Don't get any ideas! I'm trying to make sure you don't get drunk and cause trouble! If you got drunk and crazy, it might look bad for me too! Thanks for that. I just let him say whatever again. S sakai kun A hesitant voice called my name. I looked over. Huh? Okuda-san? It's been a while. <sighs> you remembered me. She smiled in relief. It was Maiko Okuda, my classmate from my last year in high school. Uh, um, can I sit in front of you? Oh, uh, sure, of course. When I smiled at her, she smiled back happily. I could never say it to her, but... She grew into a really beautiful woman. The last time I saw her was eight years ago, at our coming of age ceremony. I felt a bit nervous. I felt a push on my side. Long time no see! Wow, you've gotten so pretty! I'm surprised! He was forward with women at work too, and it was no different here. You've always had an air about you, but as an adult... What's your job? Do you have a boyfriend? Oh, maybe we can exchange numbers. Michael looked taken aback by how aggressive he was being. Kazuma, she's uncomfortable. Stop it. The reunion started. The happiness I felt about seeing everyone only lasted a second. Sakai, why aren't you drinking? You can't. So boring. S so annoying. When I tried to talk to Maiko, a drunk Kazuma would start talking to me. I've been drinking, don't worry about me. Huh? Acting like you're sober? Are you that desperate to look cool? Hey, Gekko Mie-kun. Maybe you're drunk. Haha, <laughs> I'm not! I'm here to take care of this guy! <laughs> Kazuma, slow down. Here, have some water. Sh shut up! I, I don't need no water! Kazuma kept his tough act up until the end and ordered a bunch of drinks. There was no way he could have finished it all. I've been drinking all of it for him. He doesn't know that, though. Two hours later, part one of the reunion was done. Of alcohol! Bring more alcohol! I can hold my liquor! Okay, okay, we're going home. <sighs> How did this happen? Kazuma was trashed. Everyone looked at him and laughed. But it was a nuisance. I didn't like people who didn't know their own limits. I knew where he lived, so I had to take him home. I'm sorry, you have to hold his stuff. When I told everyone I'd take Kazuma home, Maiko offered to hold our stuff. Nah, it's fine. And I wanted 
to talk to you more. Huh? She stuck her tongue out playfully. My heart raced. I'll blame how hot I felt on the alcohol. Kazuma's house wasn't far enough to call a taxi, so I supported him as we walked. <laughs> My pretty, cutie lady. <laughs> Whoa, Kazuma, it's me. You hate me. Don't be shy. <laughs> A Harlem under the sun! <laughs> what kind of hallucination is this? Damn it, stop! Achoo! <laughs> I don't think I'll ever forget tonight. I guess my hit worked because Kazuma slowly started sobering up. When we got close to his house, he suddenly pushed me away and glared. You embarrassed me, show off! Huh? I wasn't trying to. You wanted to show Maiko and make yourself look good? You're the worst! Hey, Kazuma. He was worried about you. I didn't ask. Ah, damn it! Blah, I don't feel good. I guess shouting made him nauseous. He ran away. <sighs> Sorry. You missed out on the second half of the reunion. <laughs> It's okay. Actually, I should thank Kazuma. Michael laughed. My heart raced again. After that, we talked at the park for a while. The following week, Kazuma was waiting for me with a glare on his face. Come with me! I had prayed he'd wake up with no memory of the night before, but I guess not. I have work, so keep it short. Don't get cocky! I bet you pretended to drink and use me to make yourself look good! I'll never forgive you for embarrassing me in front of Maiko! Kazuma's nastiness toward me got worse and worse. I was in development and Kazuma was in sales. I thought I was lucky we weren't in the same department. But he started spreading weird rumors about me within his department and everywhere else. I heard you tried to get with every girl at the reunion. Is that true? Going after a girl because you're drunk. I thought it was better than that. No, I... I explained the truth to the receptionist and she believed me immediately and apologized. I see. Sorry. I heard a rumor so I thought... I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm tired. Maybe I should give up on defending myself. It's never ending. I've been correcting people every time, but it was endless. I was getting tired. I had to think about my own mental health. Sakai. Whoa, s sir. Hello. He smiled at me kindly. My eyes got hot. May I? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Maybe he noticed that I held back my tears. He didn't say anything else and started eating. Damn, I'm not okay. I... He sat next to me silently. I was grateful for his quiet kindness. Let's go out for drinks again. I love drinking with you. That's all he said. He knew I wasn't feeling so great. Yes, thank you, sir. A comforting scent wafted from him. I relaxed. A month later, I was at a restaurant I went to often. Hello, Yuto. Long time no see. She smiled at me from the counter. Shino Sakai, my older cousin. This was the fancy bar she ran. I was going to meet someone here. <laughs> I underestimated you. A date with a girl? Someone else is coming, though. Sorry to keep you waiting. It was Maiko. We had exchanged numbers after the reunion. I just got here, so it's okay. Thank you for today. I greeted the man next to her. He smiled at me. Long time no see. It was Michael's older cousin and Shino's classmate. Small world. Masa, yeah. Third wheeling these kiddos on their date? That's not good. D -d 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 date? That's not... Cute! You're so cute! I can't believe you shared DNA with Masaya. Can you not insult me with that elegant voice? 
I had met up with her a few times after the reunion. She introduced me to Masaya on one of those occasions. Masaya was a regular here. I guess they were close. Masaya got pretty drunk on this day. Yuto, you're a tank. When will you get drunk for me? <laughs> Okuda-san, you're getting close. Are you getting shy? So cute. The, 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 this is how he is when he's drunk? Oh, I didn't know about this. My. <laughs> Since the reunion, I've met new people and life was good. But at work, Kazuma was still terrorizing me. Work itself was good. Sir, I gathered the paperwork. Nice work. Thank you for your speedy and thorough work. He smiled at me. I fist pumped internally. I could work this hard because he praised me for it. I thought about this as I drank with him. You really can hold your liquor. Yeah, I've never gotten that drunk. I think it's in my blood. Oh, you said before that your father was quite the drinker. Yes, he passed away before I turned 20, so we never got to drink together. My dad had looked forward to sharing a drink with me. I never imagined then that that day would never come. That's why I like drinking with you. It's like I'm drinking with my dad. I feel warm inside. Thank you. Sakai, I also love drinking with you. I never had children. If I had a son like you, I always think that. My heart was twisted up by Kazuma's hatred, but my department head's kindness made me feel better. I'm glad I came out here because I got to meet you. Oh yeah, after this year... He had come from headquarters. I could only work under him right now. I vowed to make each day count. A year went by after the reunion. Kazuma still hated me. Sakai, I'm surprised you can still work here. You didn't break, even with all those rumors. I underestimated you. Just quit already. He didn't even try to hide the fact that he was the source of the rumors. Huh? Kazuma's still mad about that day. We never got along, but it has gotten a lot worse. Friday, Maiko and I were heading to Shino's restaurant again. It had become a weekly thing to meet up and drink together. You helped him. He's weird. We had gotten closer. We called each other by first name now. Masaya's coming today. He really likes you. <laughs> I'm honored. Huh? No way! Is that Yuto and Maiko? Maybe we were just lucky he never saw us before this. But Kazuma saw us together this day. Damn it! I won't forgive him! We got to Shino's restaurant and started eating. Your kind heart hasn't changed since high school. I love you for that. Wait, Maiko, you, you're drunk, right? She didn't drink at the reunion. It wasn't because she didn't like it, but because she becomes flirty. So Masaya had warned her not to drink in front of people. Maiko and Masaya are definitely family. She fell asleep. 30 minutes later, Masaya said he wanted to talk and joined us, but... Wait, Maiko's asleep? You're all red. What's wrong? Oh, uh, I'm a little drunk. Wait, you are? No way you are. He didn't believe me at all. I felt drunk for the first time in my life. Some time later... Yuto, I want to be with you. Ma Masaya, don't say it like that. Masaya was drunk and making moves on me as usual. Oh my, so cute. You're so popular. Shino, you're enjoying this. Masaya, have some water. Sakai, taking care of people again? Kazuma, why are you here? I turned around. It was the person I disliked the most. Ha <laughs> ha! You put on an act everywhere you go, huh? I bet you do that at work too and get off easy. Huh? I was surprised by the deep voice. Masaya was glaring at Kazuma. What did you say? Oh my, he made him mad. He's done for. 
No one heard her say it. Kazuma didn't back down from the fight. Ha! Huh? Who are you? It's none of your business. I was talking to that faker. Aren't you embarrassed to be taken care of by him? I would be forever. So you're the lame guy Michael was talking about. What? L lame? At the reunion, Yuto took care of him and took him home, but he lashed out at Yuto. Then the idiot spread rumors in the office. What? W what? Sakai, get away from Maiko! Stop! You started a fight! You're done! Masaya was drunk. Was that an act? Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! I'd never lose to some drunk! Ha <laughs> ha! Kazuma, stop it! Oh, the faker speaks up again! I'm nauseous! Kazuma did not listen to my warning. I don't know who the hell you are, but I don't care! Don't get cocky because you're a little good looking! You don't care? I work for the company that owns yours! The company that owns mine? Aha! So what? You're just some employee bragging! I don't like to brag, but I'll brag right now! Masaya stood up. I'm next in line to be president! Ha ha? What? Kazuma's mouth fell open. He hadn't drunk anything, but he looked sick. Sakai, why are you drinking with the president to be? We're drinking buddies and I respect him. We're close. What? Why is someone like you? Why? Because I like him and I know he's good at his job. And I poached him. A few months ago, Masaya had asked if I wanted to work at headquarters. Your department head is a great man and works for us. He's recognized Yuto's work. I've been interested for a while. And surprise, he's a classmate of my cousin, Maiko. I asked Maiko to get me in touch. Now we drink together. What? The department head has always been a leader to me and... Sakai, I love drinking with you. His favorite liquor. It was the same as my father's. He also smelled like my dad. The rich scent of the liquor and his own comforting scent. When we first drank together, I felt like I was drinking with my father. Kazuma, I didn't help you to make myself look good. If I left you and you caused trouble, it would be bad for the company. It wasn't for you. Kazuma had told me not to make our company look bad. I threw those words back at him. It was effective. The girl next to me opened her eyes slightly. Kazuma saw it and spoke eagerly. m Maiko, I always liked you. I'm sure she wasn't conscious enough to know what was going on. <sighs> no. What? Smell good. Whoa, Maiko! What? Maybe she was drunk, maybe she was half asleep. Maiko rubbed up against me. Sorry, Kazuma. Maiko has liked Yuto since high school. Her feelings have come back after the reunion. She only has eyes for Yuto. Kazuma turned to Ash. He hated me in high school because he saw Maiko talking to me, huh? He had sat next to me at the reunion because he thought Michael might talk to him then. As a result, I got my reunion romance. That day, it was because I took a drunk Kazuma home. Kazuma had turned to dust and was wiped away later by Shino. After that, Kazuma had incited the anger of the president in line. He was sent away as I was sent to headquarters. I heard he works for some small company in a foreign country. I can do this! Sakai! Help me! Oh, Japanese repentance! He drinks hard liquor every day and gets blasted. No one's there to save him. He reaped what he sowed. Masaya hadn't expected this. He's thinking of what to do if he causes trouble. I was transferred to headquarters. My department head was beside me. I get to work with him. What a happy surprise. Even now, drinking with him reminded me of my father. If I had gotten to drink with my dad, 
that would have been how I showed him my appreciation. Another happy surprise. Yuto, I've liked you since high school. A sober Michael confessed her feelings to me. I was drunk on her. Alcohol can add a little color to your life if you do it right. Sharing a drink with people you love. These would be memories I hold in my heart forever. Hello, it's your lovely Brittany here to talk to you about the dangers of alcohol. Nah, I'm just kidding. So personally, I know my alcohol tolerance and I know my type. I get very giddy and then I get very sad. It's a fine line. I personally only like to drink when it's like yummy drinks or, you know, Thanksgiving dinner and you got some wine or you go to a really nice restaurant, that kind of thing. Otherwise, I'm not too fussed on it. However, let me just do the stereotypical advertisement. Be careful. Do not drink while driving. And be safe. Make sure you go out with people you trust. All right. Have a wonderful day, my lovelies, and I'll see you next time. Bye!